Hello everyone, Achain over here, and as you always know, if you like my videos, you can like them and subscribe in one of the guys that is over there. And never forget that you can check the shit in the part below, it's always in the description, it has videos and everything, and you can see some people are always checking it out. And let's begin with the video. This will be the video for the cold blood part of our technique. In this case, of course, as you know, sub has different builds for Mythic Plus. This is the Cold Blood one. There is many things that you can change. Remember, I already did the video way back where you can check many things in the middle if you need, of course, ship or something like that. Sometimes you want two feints for some bosses. Remember, in height, technical keys, you may also want L Sweetness. I will do a video about that a little bit later. In the class 3, not many things change. You will see all of the builds are the same. I don't really like first dance and Mystic Plus builds, so I use Premeditation instead. Some other people also don't like Tornado, so they take Tornado off and play with First Dance and Premeditation or even sometimes some people get Weapon Master and Inevitability, but I'm not of that thing. I, I just run with this, I really like it, and it helps quite a bit. As for the Class 3 score, you know, in the end is where things change. We already did the video about the Echoing Reprimand with Resounding Clarity, you can check it out. Is just the last one of the WoW themed ones. And now we are going for the Cold Blood one. This Cold Blood one does uh, things a little bit different. In the Echoing Reprimand one, you didn't really care in the time between vanishes to get um, that extra juice. Here, you really want to get Cold Blood with your flag stacks and inside the second dance when you use the Vanish. This is our highest damage profile as always remember when you use shuriken tornado don't use symbols of death for those at least three seconds until the last finisher so you don't waste the finisher thingies of course this will make us use also symbols of death a little bit later remember there's the pandemic time when you can use it when it has three seconds left and that will be it let me show you the clip it's really fast some people uh, like me to get the whole clip and then explain afterwards so that's what i will do we'll go here and open the video it's a really short video of course it's only 53 seconds one minute it encapsulates our opening thing and the first tornado that we do so i will first mute the wow sound because there are some monkeys as always being annoying in the game and let's go Okay, so this is the whole thing. Now, as you always know, this means the whole rotation that we do. There are some things that I'm going to comment about, so let's go through it again. So it begins, and we're going to, of course, Shadow Strike, because we have premeditation. This will be kind of like the first pull thing that you would do. And here, of course, on the second uh, thing we do, we are going to use, of course, our Shuriken Storm to get as much combo points as possible. Here you can see have six, and we use Flagellation, and I use Rupture again. You can use lots of Slice and Dice to have a Slice and Dice through all the thing and not have to care about that much. Afterwards, you can also select another target to Rupture. Here I go a little bit out of Pandemic. I have like four or five seconds and it will just get to another target. Then we use, of course, Tornado. And as you know, I'm not using symbols of that now because of 
this. One thing to know about is, as you see there, I got my slice and dice back from the premeditation shadow strike. We don't care that much on that shadow strike because we have shadow blades and it will fill combo points anyway. I also get the um, the third thing a little bit early, but you can just run around a little bit more. These are like general dancings, and here, as you see, I used my banish to reset my cooldowns and get symbols of death back. And also, I waited a little bit out of dance to get cold blood back on my second dance. Here, you saw me use um, another black powder to get the shadow strike thing, and this way we have four dance macabre stacks when we use that and it also of course enters inside our flagellation window now of course we have some downtime so we will get some ruptures up i get of course here my slice and dice up and then we go into the dance and that will be all of course many times the pool will die before you do that whole thing sometimes uh, what i just do is i don't use vanish and say vanish for the next one so i get another another tornado and and things like that but as you, as you know i will always explain many times in mythic plus cooldowns are dynamic you can change many things and sync many things just try not to mess up a lot get your ruptures up get your slice and dice up and just do damage as a last thing to say about this build is you will struggle on energy if you mess up. What does that mean? If you use Tornado with only 60 or 70 energy, you will not be able to use a finisher after that. If you use Shuriken Storm two times in a row, you will not be able to use a finisher. You will have to wait. Also in two or three targets, I will make a video about that too, but just know that we struggle quite a bit and it's normal to run out of energy. So that's all and have a nice day.